Thank you for tuning in to the House of Sir Cat Radio. This is your host, Sir Cat Amin Ra. Tonight, we have a special guest, the chakra doctor, Mr. Rance Dunbar. And tonight, he's going to talk with us about his um, new product, the Affirmation Bible, and also give us um, some information on his chakra doctor program that he has. Good evening, Rance. How are you? Hi, how are you doing? I am swell, well, and great, divinely blessed, wonderfully infinite, attitude of gratitude, at the longitude and latitude, grateful for every good, every bad, every high, every low, because they all put together to make me great, and it's just wonderful to be here. I'm glad you invited me. I'm glad the people get a chance to hear about this wonderful masterpiece, so I can't wait to get the show started. Once again, my name is Chakra Doctor Rance Dunbar, R A N C E, like France would take the F off of it. Right? And this is wonderful. I'm glad to be here. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm in the process of sending the link so you can post it for anybody that wants to go ahead and chat with us tonight. Okay, I have a couple of brief questions that I want to ask before I let you just go ahead and explain to us your program. I noticed that you're, I've witnessed that you're doing a lot of work. Um, I also have the Affirmation Bible and I find it very effective in my daily spiritual development. And it's also cool as a game, like amongst friends, you can um, utilize that with them as well. So I wanted to ask, um, what actually inspired you to get, um, to create the Affirmation Bible? Yeah, so it took me two years to create the Affirmation Bible and I didn't even know I was creating the Affirmation Bible. Um, just, uh, a back, just a quick background of myself. I come from a background that you're never supposed to make it from where I come from, from what I've been through. You're, never, you're not supposed to make it to this level at all, no type of level from child abuse to suicide attempts, to addiction, prison, poverty, and all of the, and all of the things that we say are, they say, can't get you, will get you dead or in jail, um, from unhealth, from being unhealthy with ailments from my feet, from being unhealthy with ailments and so just inside of my body, and always just attracting the wrong people, just a, just a big, one big spiral long life for those, you know, who one might call strings of bad luck. During, them, during those strings of bad luck, I developed some valuable, valuable, more than life-changing skills. And one of the main skills that has always, even during the strings of bad luck, I've always had a great mother who gave me everything and taught me everything I know. And, you know, I had a, I had a, a distant father, and he did the best that he could. And through those two mediums, uh, through those two mediums, I I was able to develop a sense of what the world is really like because, number one, my mom always made me read. She always made me, she punished me with uh, what one might call education. <laughs> when I got in trouble, she punished me with education. Um, right. So from reading, and one of those things she used to punish me with was affirmations. Um, I did, if I got something wrong, or got did something bad in school, then the punishment would be affirmations. If I got something wrong, then the punishment would be reading. And so it started right there because the Bible says if you train a child in the way it should go, when it gets older, it will not depart from it. So my mother instilled some crucial, some crucial things in me at an early age that has never left. And even when I went through all of the strengths of bad luck, they ended up rearing themselves back into my character at most.
most at the most crucial times of life. And so all of those all of those things were happening to me at such a young at such a young age, all the way, you know, from my mom dying at the age of sixteen on Christmas Day to my me finding my grandmother dead in the bathroom on the on the day of the Super Bowl when I was fourteen, to my to my best friend and cousin getting shot in the head when I was fifteen, right? Um, my mom's four back-to-back years of just these weird, crazy deaths uh, of people who were surrounded, who people who were integral to what I would call role model, role model type uh, feedback as a child adult relationship, and so I completely lost it at that part of life, not realizing that all of the affirmations that I said when I was five, six, seven, and eight were going to kick in later on in life. And not only that, but I would use that technique to propel me forward into my own business, propel me forward into completely changing my life into a trillion degree 360, um, because that spawned the rest, affirmation, positive affirmations spawned everything that I'm doing now and everything that I'm doing now is completely opposite of what I just told you you know from you know the abuse and all those bad things I just told you everything I'm doing right now is in complete opposite of those bad things and literally able to take these good things and heal thousands of people with it so the number one thing that that, that brought about all of this is full chakra activation Right, because yeah. full chakra activation was my proprietary guided meditation that affirmation spawned. Yeah. Affirmations, me writing to myself and telling myself, like the little engine that could, I think I can. I am great. People telling me that from when I was young, my mind making me write it. And then all of these things of bad luck hit, and I still was able to make it through those. And through all of that, right, practicing mm-hmm. and practicing and practicing, I developed a strategy for myself. And that strategy was, you're going to bombard and surround yourself with positive affirmations on all levels, from listening to them, to writing them, to saying them, to always just having them always around you all the time until your God dang on self change. And so it was it, it was a whole bunch of things that led up to, okay, the last two years, when I say, all right, I'm gonna write an affirmation line. Um, right. So the first thing, the first, so the first thing I gotta tell you is like, yeah, th- those beginnings and showing me what affirmations did. I didn't even know what the affirmations were doing for me at a young age. You think your mom is just punishing you, making you say, "I am great," right? "I am wonderful," "I am a star," "I shine bright." I remember all of these affirmations at five. When you're gonna write on the board, you're gonna write, "I am a star," "I shine bright," two hundred times. Yeah. Right here, right now. Right, and I didn't know at five, six, seven, and eight that these things were going to take place into life number one, life test to test me to see if I am a star and to see if I was shy, right? Um, life test to bring the actual test in my forefront to make me great because you can't reach great without having some great life test put front you, in front of you and you being victorious with the test. So it started off in those little beginnings. And then as I developed my guided meditation, they came back because I used, I started using affirmations as a part of my guided meditation, full chakra activation. And people were just giving me great, great, great feedback and saying, no, when I say the affirmations while I'm doing your meditation, it, I literally can physically feel them. Or like feel them rushing and feel them actually working on me. So I was like, okay, those affirmations that mom made me say all those all those years ago wasn't just words. They were actual destinies and realities that I was speaking upon myself at a young age and didn't even know. Absolutely. And I don't even think she knew what how big it was going to be, and she just wanted me to she just wanted me to think positive. And, do something positive with myself outside of what I was doing that one might consider negative in school or whatnot. And so developing my business and I, I developed my own company and it is all based on spirituality, full-time entrepreneur, giving people full chakra activation and reintroducing.
introducing affirmations to the world again in the form of us actually getting in the trenches and programming ourselves constantly with them. Uh, I know everybody has heard of positive affirmations, but how many of us have taken positive affirmations to an extreme state? We take working out to an extreme, we take spirituality and, and religion to an extreme, we take medicine to the extreme, we take sports to the extreme, but we never thought about taking and manifesting our destinies through the form of our words to the extreme, meaning, uh, meaning every word has to come. And so, me wanting to introduce that back into the world, how can I introduce that back into the world? Well, the one thing I learned great with was games. Um, when you look into the world, there's nothing in this world on the face of the planet Earth that can't be, hasn't been put on, isn't already in a game format. So, number one, I wanted to reintroduce people to reprogramming and reprogramming their realities with positive, their own positive words, right? But number two, I wanted, I wanted to make it fun. I didn't want it to be just, oh, I'm writing these affirmations. I had to bring it back to the inner child and make it fun. And so, the idea started spawning about two and a half years ago. Man, you need to write a book about a book on affirmations, but it don't. It, it just, I couldn't just write a book on affirmations. Everybody got affirmations that going. I had to make it special. So that's where my background in divination and my background in um, occultism came into a big, big um, effect because I was able to make it into a, a real divination game that one can literally see the accuracy in, but also to make it fun for you to reprogram your, your reality with affirmations again. So. It was a big, long journey into it, but yeah, it came about the last two years. Yes, absolutely. That was wonderful. Um, very um, detailed. I can tell that you've been on this journey for since you were a child. But getting into the um, Affirmation Bible, I know when I first um, started working with it, we had a conversation and I asked you about the purpose of actually writing out the 200 times. And for those out there that are going to use this, would you elaborate on that part, the, the actual development that you receive from actually writing out the affirmation 200 yeah, so, times? So there is there's something called 100%. Mm -hmm. But in, in, in the hood, you always have people say, man, I, I keep it a thousand. Mm-hmm. So 200 is 200 is 20% of 1,000. Take five 200s and you got a thousand dollars. Right. Right. I consider affirmation. Consider affirm. Consider each affirmation a dollar. Right. Good perspective. Consider each affirmation a spiritual dollar. When you write 200 affirmations, you just wrote 200 spiritual dollars into existence. These people, and we know that money. AKA time has the ability to sweat change your life and pay your spiritual bills. Absolutely. So so two hundred is twenty percent of a thousand. The book came out the, the book is it came out at the end of nineteen, slated for a real push in twenty twenty. So I made sure it was twenty affirmations upon a uh, per page. Right. I made sure that it's a twenty sided dice. I made sure that the Affirmations are 200, making sure that that's 20% of 1,000, 20, 20, 20. Um, and so that is, that's very important because 2020 is a very important year astrologically, a very important year in numerology, right? Mm -hmm. We just came up on it. We just came up on um, what they call the, what they, um, two, two, 20, 20, 20. Right, right. Two twenty, two twenty, twenty twenty. Uh, reverse is the same thing. Yeah. Twenty twenty twenty. Yeah. And they're not gonna have another one of those for like hundreds of years. Yes. Or whatnot, until until twenty one twenty one, and that's like a hundred and something years from now. Right. Um. So numbers play a big, big important part of the affirmation Bible. Why? Because of angelic numerology. That. Mm. It's being used in the affirmation, but everybody, every affirmation comes with a specific numeric angelic numerology or number or, or angel message or angel number, as one might call it. And 20 is a 
Remember, 2020 is the clear vision. 2020 is perfect vision, right? Right. So 200, 200 being a being a multiple of 20, because if I take 20 into times it by 10, I just got 200. Right. Right. So all of that coincides with, with 20, with the 20 really, really, with the 20 really means that 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 clear vision. So when you writing it, writing it 200 times. You're going to get, you can't, when you write something 50 times, you know, you got your okay, you know, that was okay. Right? But remember, you got four quarters and a dollar. So let's say each 50 is a, is a quarter of the dollar. 50, 50, 50, 50, that's four fifties, right? Mm-hmm. That, four, four, that 450 is going to turn into 200. So it's all, it's all in the name of completion with, when it comes to numbers. And once you realize and do your research on, the spiritual meaning of the number 20, the spiritual meaning of the number two, the spiritual meaning of the number zero. So the spiritual meaning of the number two is based in duality, yin, yang, uniting the masculine and feminine principles, the right brain and left brain united as one, there's one brain no longer separated. Um, but it represents, it, it represents that the, the, the dualistic nature of the world that we live in. Right. But then the zero represents, the zero represents the oneness, yep. the the overall, all of all that is in life, this where everything comes from, the source. Yep. So that put together, you got a perfect trinity. So now we're getting into perfection. Now we're getting into perfection when you're talking about the number twenty. Right. And so the two hundred being a multiple of that times it by ten only made it more perfect sense. When, it, when, it, when you're dealing with the areas of magic, because at my Heaven on Earth School of Enchanted Art, we teach you that numerology is magic. We teach you that astrology is magic. Yeah. We teach you that archangels and affirmations are magic. When you say an affirmation, you're not just saying an affirmation. You're literally using the invisible world to manifest a physical world. You're using nothing to and making it something that's magic. Right. And so we show you how we show you the science of magic begins with what we think, the affirmations that we think every day, and then the affirmations that we say every day, and then the affirmations that we write, and then the affirmations that we walked out and act. There are four levels of affirmation of the affirmation process. Right. right? The affirmations that we think every day. Mm-hmm. And then the affirmation that we say every day. And then the affirmations that we write every day. And then versus the affirmation that is the number one that that's supposed to be number one, right? Um, right. The one that we act out and walk and move and put in action every day. And live in every day, right? Right. Move the, the movement of the affirmation, but it starts off as a thought, then manifests as a word, and then manifests as the written word, and then manifests as a movable action. So, and all of this has to do once again with the Trinity, with the twenty. Right. So it's twenty sided dice. 20 chapters and 20 chapters mm-hmm. right with 20 affirmations on each chapter 20 20 20 yes i thought the and whole dice aspect was really creative the um that's called geomancy so yes and and, and and back in the day you used to you used to didn't have to worry about a vote so that's what a lot of that's what a lot of when you play in the lottery you're, you're doing something called geomancy mm-hmm. Geo, geomancy is what they call in the bible casting lots when they um, crucified Christ and they cast lots for his clothing they did it with dice right and they rolled dice like on a crap tape right alright so geomancy is the use of random numbers through rolling dice to determine the language that the creator and mother nature is speaking and it was mm-hmm. used to pick delegates of state it was, it was used to pick kings and queens we're gonna roll the dice and see who is going to win the election. There ain't going to be no payola and all of this, you know, voter fraud and all of this type of stuff. Right. You're going to roll, you're going to roll the dice and whatever that dice land on, whatever that random number, whatever that raffle, whatever comes out of that raffle hat, that's who's going to be the, 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 the town city mayor. Mm-hmm. Right? And, and it was said that these numbers that the dice roll, because they're all, uh, because all dice are made geometrically shaped to resonate with the earth from your three-sided dice to your six-sided dice to your eight-sided dice you have a ten-sided dice you have a twelve-sided dice and you have a twenty-sided dice mm-hmm. right as well as a as well um, as a 100 but it's not a hundred sides it just has a hundred 
uh, it just has spots of ten that could turn to a make a hundred. Right. So all of these dice are geometrically shaped after the earth, after the mother earth, and have a frequency and resonates with the mother earth. And whatever that dice is used for in a particular case that resonates with the numbers, that is giving you that's giving Mother Earth the chance and nature the chance to speak to you through the highest form of speaking, which is numbers. Right. So everything is numbers. The, your computer, when your computer, when you're looking at that, when you're looking at that text on your on your screen, you're not looking at a text. You're looking at numbers translated into a text. Right. Through okay. So this is how our minds code. work. Our minds are computers, and our minds speak in numbers greater than they speak in words. Right. So numerology is very numerology is the first level of what you call this world the matrix. And it is built on numbers. Everything is geometrically shaped. When you go into any building, when you drive drive any car, you can't drive your car without a speedometer, numbers. Right. You can't you can't pay your bills without knowing the number. You can't call nobody on the phone without a number. Numbers are what run our world. Exactly. We run our language. So therefore, we had to get in alignment with the numbers. So 2020, 2020 is just complete alignment um, with the numbers and a, 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 a basic omen, if you will, or a basic prophecy, if you will, showing mm-hmm. that this book is in perfection with the perfect language. Yes, numbers. absolutely. And I love the way that you also give, you give the number but you also give the um, astrological aspect as well, the zodiac sign. Well, remember, the, the zodiac signs are based in numbers. You have 12 or really 13. It's really 13, but over here in the Western world, they do it by, by the 12. Right. Right? Because they got 12 hands on your clock. They got 12 nights at the round table. King Arthur had 12 nights at the round table. Jesus had 12 disciples, mm-hmm. 12 tribes of Israel, 12 months in the year, so on and so forth, right? right? And so, when you, when you, once again, the Zodiac is spawned by the by the numeric system because right. it, do, it, it is numerically documenting the constellation of the movement of the stars, planets, and all of the celestial bodies. So the zodiac number one, aka astrology, is not gonna call it the zodiac. We'll call it what it really is, astrology. Um, yes. Astrology is the second biggest part of our existence, and people and people are blind and lost if they can't recognize and see that everything is numbers and astrology. Absolutely. Everything. So the first important thing that it, that this game is ruled by is. The first important thing that you're ruled by numbers. The second most important thing that this game is ruled by is the second most important thing that you're ruled by astrology. Absolutely. And the third most important thing that this game is ruled by, which is the third most important thing that you're ruled by, is the angelic realm, or what you like to call the spirit realm, or the light realm. Yes. The light world. So these three big things are the three big chess players that are moving the pieces of the chessboard in our life. And boosting the affirmation also that like Well well, well, yeah. well remember the affirmation the affirmation is basically, if you will, remember like I told you the text right on your screen. The affirmation is the text on your screen, but the astrology, numerology and the archangel is the numbers that the computer speaks to get the text on the screen. You right, see? right. It's, it's, it's spiritual forces that govern these physical words. Remember, because like I said before, if you can hear it, taste it, touch it, see it, smell it, or feel it, then guess what? You're dealing with the world of illusion, and that is the world of the temporary. Right, right? yeah. So, so the spirit runs that world. So those three spiritual things, or those three spiritual juggernauts, are three big spiritual juggernauts that have a major or the biggest major influence on your physical everyday day-to-day life absolutely and and the angelic realm is the chakras remember the full chakra activation yes guided meditation we're actually going to move into that 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 was my next segment my next question actually so you're you're right in tune so so the angelic realm remember H A N G E L reverse 
the L and the E and the L, and now you got angle. Everything in numbers and every number and every geometrical shape, which is geomancy, is governed by angles, mm -hmm. aka angels. Right. The angels are infinite in numbers, infinite in number, infinite in power. They have, they, they, they are basically the different angles that light. Angles of light, itself. yes, absolutely. Now we give it characteristics. Right. We give it, we give it, we, we give it its, we give it its personality. But all in all, it is number, it, it is number science. Right. It's, it's science of numbers. And so the angels, aka the angles of light that you can speak you can speak all types of different angles or angels or demons or demonstrations in your life. Right. And so you can speak yourself into abundance or you can speak yourself out, out. of, out of yes. abundance. Absolutely. Because the universe don't care whether you speak negative or positive. The universe just wants you to say something. And intention also. But remember, attention is saying you, you can't have an intention without wording the intention. Right. You see? Mm -hmm. So when I make the intention in my mind that I'm going to be a millionaire, guess what? That was the first part of the number system. Right. I am the first house of the zodiac because you said the word I am. And we know I am is tied to the first house of the zodiac. So each affirmation is guarded by the house of the zodiac because it's going to begin with any one of the 12 uh, zodiac affirmations right. to the beginners, which is Aries house is I am. So when you see I am in the affirmation Bible, you automatically going to see Aries attached to that, right? You're going to see Taurus houses attached to I have. You're going to see Gemini, I think. You're going to see, um, Lord, oh, Cancer. You're going to see Cancer, I feel. Leo, I will. Mm. Virgo, I analyze. You're going to see I balance in the house of Libra. You're going to see I desire in the house of uh, Scorpio, you're going to see, I see, in the house of Sagittarius, I use, in the house of Capricorn, I know, in the house of Aquarius, and I believe, in the house of Pisces, and we're in the age, we're in the season of Pisces right now as we speak. Absolutely. So, so everything is based in astrology yes. on this book. This book is pure astrology, pure numerology. And pure angelic or uh, angle technology. Absolutely. And, I actually saw the, actually received like the divine blessing from it the first couple times I used it. And I started to, you know, actually apply it and make it my business to, you know, use it intentionally every day on a 21 day period. Um, and um, I definitely saw lots of openings of the way lots of opportunity and um like futuristic um goals and plans actually being able to manifest and and the, and the key part another key part about writing the affirmations 200 times because we've already timed it it takes an hour to an hour and 20 minutes to write 200 affirmations mm -hmm. we know that in the spirit world that the real time the, the real money is time yeah so the time you spent writing your affirmation is basically the money that you paid the spirit world for that affirmation to become manifest in your life absolutely playing this game this game is already backed and powered by the magic that i've been doing for years in the background and so the divination quality of it is going to be very accurate the the actual part and it's 400 affirmations these 400 affirmations are geared and made to fit the area and aspect of life that you're currently facing so when you so when you land on an affirmation like i see serenity in all mm -hmm. that that is a clue to let you know that you haven't been seeing the serenity at all and this affirmation writing it 200 times is going to begin to open up the ways like you say the door opener the futuristic um, futuristic omens to show you that you're going to start seeing the world, the world with serenity at all. Absolutely. If you see, if you see a affirmation that says, "I have great abundance in my life," that means that you that means that you haven't 
been using your powers to have great abundance in your life and this affirmation is going to manifest a great abundance in your life yes every affirmation is geared and designed to magically manifest a reality for you that you probably wouldn't have manifested on your own had it not been for the scientific construction of these these particular affirmations put together zodiologically, numerically, and angelically. Absolutely. So these, these affirmations are powered by the archangels because they're the only archangels, the, the, the 13 major archangels from Metatron, Raphael, Gabriel, Michael, Uriel, Haniel, Raziel, Eophiel, Kamael, Zadkiel, Zafkiel, Sandalphon, and Lucifer. Yeah. And so, and so these these thirteen these thirteen archangels of light are governing these four hundred affirmations that will gear and fit your life. Absolutely. And these house, the house of when they land with the house of the zodiac is showing you the area of life because each house represents an area, a major area of life that composes your life. So each house of the zodiac, whenever that lands on that particular house, then that's where that that particular affirmation power will be focused on in your area of life. So it's all clear. It's, it's like it's a real life game. Yes, and you can, it is. And you can look up the properties and meanings and it manifests. So that's another important thing about rolling the dice writing the affirmation 200 times to put your time in um, to put your time into the magic yeah. and the rest is going to happen on it the rest is going to manifest on its own because you put the time into the magic that's an important part it's highly it's highly it's, it's optional but it's very highly recommended yes absolutely um at first I was like well do I have to write it out can I type it out and it was like no because I actually write a lot but when I first started using this, it was just like this little bit of resistance. And then I, I kind of figured out that that was, um, you know, whenever a door or a way is open, there is the equal and opposite resistance type, um, like an archon type thing. And then, you know, you just learn to shut that down. Once you've been through that experience a number of times, you begin to see the pattern. And um, so... Just want and to that's encourage. Thing, and that's the great thing about this book right here. Mm -hmm. This book, this, this book, knock the archives on the ass, knock them in the, knock, knock them in the water. Absolutely. See, see this, this gives, this gives, this, this, this strips away the power of the power of fear that the archives have placed versus the power of love that the archangels will replace. Right. As, and so, remember, this is a holy war. And when I, and when I created this book. I created this book knowing I was going to have the magic to back it and knowing that the secret societies wasn't going to be able to stop me. Right. And knowing that the secret agencies can't stop me. And knowing that I finally, a black man, yes, a black man is going to bring and change the world with positivity and going to bring it on a major scale in the mainstream. Just check out my chakradoctor.org and check out all of the things we're doing already. Yes. And, and make this and turn this into a mainstream and not get harmed or killed like a Martin Luther King or a Malcolm X because I got the magic to back me and that the magic don't miss. Absolutely. See, because contrary to popular belief, the bankers, they practice magic. Your medical doctors, he practices magic. Yes. Your, 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 your lawyer, your politician, your major media mogul, your major entertainment actor or uh, uh, musician, um, your, your your medical industry, yes. um, your uh, politics, media, education, business, military, medicine, banking, religion. Absolutely, Greek, politics. Black market, yes. black market and stock market, they all practice. Absolutely. Occultism and they all practice magic. And now this chess piece is on the board. And this, they can't stop this queen right here. This queen right here is the unstoppable queen on a chess board. Absolutely. So, so the Affirmation Bible is guaranteed to supplant any archontic or archonic um, fears that the Draco or whoever you you know whoever you identify with is the big mean bad guy, the Draco, <laughs> the Illuminati, the Masons, whoever you consider the Absolutely. big bad guy, the big pharma, whoever um, it is uh, that day, <laughs> Uncle Sam, everybody considered the everybody considered the big bad wolf somebody. 
Indeed. Right? Or some entity, right? Whether it's from the, from the from the government to the FBI, to, they don't ever point the finger at their goddamn self and say these structures can't work without my free will giving it, giving them the power. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's put the power. Let's put the power back in people's hands because you're gonna put the time in and write your affirmations. And the, oh, and also, please go on to YouTube mm -hmm. because there's a tutorial that shows you how to properly use. The Affirmation Bible and make it work to the max for you. I give you the inside tips of what everything really, you know, I give you basically the cheat codes of how to make the Affirmation Bible really manifest for you. People are really coming back. That is a wonderful. Hey, this affirmation is manifested in my life. Yes. Hey, I am really seeing the world with serenity now. Yes. With just one play of the game. With just, it, just one play of the game. Just Actually. The, and we have a saying, mm -hmm. before you speak, we have mm -hmm. a saying. That the universe, great mother universe, great grandmother earth, mother nature, they're going to provide your 80% quality of life. It's up to you to provide the other 20%, 100% of the time. Absolutely. So your 20, your 200 affirmations is basically you putting in your 20%. Yes. And, and that's, that's like basic when you look at the benefits that are going to come continuously because like you know this is anything time this this doesn't have a time so this can be used for years to come so that was one of the um, things that I loved about it um, and also you were leading into um, the chakra doctor and I wanted you to um, briefly lay that out for us and um, what inspired you to um, comprise this system. And just before you start, I remember um, in the beginning, I don't know if it was when you first started, but when we first connected some, I want to say some couple years now, um, when we first became friends on Facebook and I went through the chakra activation, never forgot it after that because I had or I'm already aware of chakra systems and I was at that time but the your particular system from my knowledge I knew that it was spot on so if you could do us the pleasure of um elaborating on the chakra doctor system yes yeah, so no one so chakra doctor was born out of a proprietary guided meditation invented solely by me alone in a prison cell mm. Deep. alone in a prison cell in my cocoon St stuck busted disgusted couldn't be trusted and this was no longer this, this was no longer than 2000 this was no longer than five years ago Wow. 2015. Mm -hmm. But I learned and I discovered full chakra activation. I, that was the perfection of full chakra activation 2015. But I learned and discovered full chakra activation in 2008. Okay. And just like anybody else, like you tried it that one time and you never forgot it. I had tried it that one time, I never forgot it. But not realizing that like any other muscle or any other practice in life, if you do it repetitively over and over, you're not not, and not only are you going to forget it, it's going to become you and you're going to be able to accomplish anything you want in life. Absolutely. So, full soccer activation number one, the name of my company, Legally Legal um, Incorporation and Trademark System, the trademark name, sorry. Yes. Um, my FCA Inc. Chakra Doctor it's because of the FCA, the F, the part that says FCA, mm -hmm. full chakra activation. And so full chakra activation, simply put, is a mental exercise. I like to call it the Bruce Lee of meditation. I like to call it the Bruce Lee of the spirit world, of, of the spiritual practice. Indeed. Um, and, you know, Bruce Lee had an unorthodox way, but his unorthodox way, it was arguably the best way because it was able to knock any opponent out in 60 seconds or less. And that's what it's all about effective. This can't get the job done. Mm. Or, will it, or, or, or will it has to have a so-so response. So anyway, full chakra activation is a mental imagina imagination exercise that one that anybody can use if you're over the 
age of, if you're over the age of seven or better, I recommend it to, you know, people about seven or better because from zero to six, the chakras are just turning on per year. Right. Every year. Uh, and I'm going to explain that to you because people like the chakras, what are the chakras? And, uh, this is going to blow everybody's mind yeah. once they realize this one thing. So, the, so the chakras are basically you. I don't like to call them the chakras because it says there's a you and then there's a the, mm -hmm. meaning something that's not you. Chakras, a.k.a. you, are the spiritual, angelic light of you. Just imagine, if you will, your body as a baby doll or a mannequin. Then the chakras would be the spiritual light batteries that power and animate the doll with a personality, feelings, emotions, hungers, cravings, purpose, and all of the things that a human being feels in a lifetime. But every single, the, the chakras are in complete 100% control of both of your lives. You have two lives that you live. A spiritual life called metaphysical mm -hmm. and a temporary illusion life called physical. Indeed. The chakras, the, the, the chakras and the light of the chakras are, are the things that are literally control both of these aspects of your life. And the uh, big thing about it is that we don't realize that this is a science that has been kept from us. We don't realize that this is a technology that has been known but kept, kept away from us so that we do not grow as human beings. Mm. You do not realize that the chakras they, they, they're found, you can find the, you can find the data on them in the, in the world of India, but they originated, the science originated in Africa. Yes. You know, with the original people. And chakra is translated simply in Sanskrit. Sanskrit to English means will of light. Now we all know that we have, we all know that this world is a circle. Even whether you believe it's flat, whether you believe it's a sphere, you do believe it's a circle. Right. You, right? And so, we know that the a wheel is a circle. So, the chakra translated to English means wheel of light. Now, they didn't tell you that a wheel is a sphere. And these spheres, and the smallest spheres that, the smallest spheres that govern your whole world are what you would like to call antimatter or particle spheres. And, and they're all around us. They're all inside of us. They dwell in everything. They make up everything. They're just super, super, super tiny. You can't see. And the chakras are composed of these angles or angels of light. Yes. Now, the great thing about it is that these, these angles of light, these light, is basically the parts of you that it took or that it takes to run this body, this body runs on this body, this body runs on light, energy right, and that yeah. energy is called the chakras, people wonder how their heart keeps beating but never stops Right. it's the chakras, people wonder why their mind can fire synapses and electricity and magnetism but never stops, people wonder why they, their stomach growl and they have feelings and they people wonder what is that where did the science behind all of that come from how was your body able to feel the emotion of anger how was your body able to feel the emotion of joy how is your body able to see the unseen how is your mind able to produce a thought how is all of these things going about you know your organs they're just powered and then geared and your cells they do a certain thing and everything has its own system perfect that it works by but what is the actual source of power that powers these systems now we're talking about the chakras the chakras is the energy source you the animated spirit that powers these these temporary systems one might like to call life systems mm -hmm. from your breathing to your thinking to your eating Tasting, touching, seeing, smelling, feeling, fucking, everything. Yes. Everything are governed, governed by the chakras. And now, so why is that important? Because we 
have to realize that full chakra activation is the actual guided meditation that instantly, instantly, the first time, puts you in control of those chakras. If you're in control of the chakras, then you're in control of the systems that the chakras govern. Absolutely. Which means you're in control of life. But it don't happen with just one try. Right. It, it is a thing, it is a muscle that one must use and gain control of the muscle and build the muscle to become strong in it. And once you're strong in it, now life no longer happens to you. You begin to happen to life. Yeah. Sickness no longer happens to you. Healing and wealth and abundance begin to usher in. I've And we've healed countless many of people with this guided meditation. And it's for free on my website, chakradoctor.org, C-H-A-K-R-A-D-O-C-T-O-R.org. And it's free also on my on my YouTube channel, Chakra Doctor TV. Just put Chakra Doctor TV in your search bar in your YouTube. And so thousands of people we've healed with this method. Thousands of people we've influenced with this method. Hundreds of people get to come to my school and experience this method. We just did a spiritual block party in the name of this method. Um, a spiritual block party was an event that over 1,500 people showed up and all kind of different healers of different walks of life from shamanic sound, bathing, bathing, medicine, and to yoga, different yoga, and all kind of healers came out to this event all in the name of full chakra activation and the spiritual block party. Yes, and absolutely. So, I definitely got a chance to view that online. It was it was a great gathering. And, and it's all because of full chakra activation. So we've healed, we've healed cancer broken bones with this we heal addiction with this I am first and foremost I am the biggest testimony to full chakra activation so I, did, I, I found out about the chakras in 2008 but it, I didn't perfect it in, until 2015 because I did not it was in, in my awareness that one must do this repetitively and constantly and it turns up and charges it into a everlasting power source for you and I have an actual program at my school called the Christ Program, Mm -hmm. and that Christ Program is a 40-day and 40-night program where we take you away from your world, take you away from your life, put you into our world of nothing but full chakra activation, affirmations, water, and straight um, food that are straight raw food like fruit and fruit vegetables, but mainly fruitarian lifestyle, and for 40 days and 40 nights. And you become you you become what they call in our school fully chakra activated means that your chakras are on they stay on and you'll never have to do the exercise full chakra activation again. You'll be teaching the exercise and activating other people's chakras, and others will be able to literally feed and eat off of your light and your learning. And you're now what we call awakened Christ conscious. You're literally Christ consciously ascending. And so, but it starts with just activating your chakras on the daily and working your way up and building a tolerance so that the full chakra, so that the chakras work for you. So Absolutely. that you can build up your belief that, hey, I can become a fully activated Christ conscious being. And yes. when I say, what do I mean by fully activated Christ conscious being? Meaning, you no longer have to wonder and ask questions of life. You are the answer to life. Right. Fully chakra activated consciousness means that you no longer, you no, you are, you are no longer the person that life happens to, you begin to happen to life at a high velocity and a high volume. And you are once again connected to the source of all creation, the great grand holy mother universe who created all of this because she is the source of all of this. Absolutely. And so so it ties you back into that and it ties you back into correcting your life and healing your life on an atomic level. An atomic level, a particle level, a, a particular level, mm-hmm. right? A cellular level, a physical level, a mental level, an emotional level, right? Spiritual level. It heals on all levels of life. It heals you emotionally. It heals you physically. It heals you mentally. It heals you spiritually. And there's nothing like it on the market. I always challenge that if there's no healing mechanism out there right now for free, you don't have to pay for it. All you have to do is go use it and have the discipline to do it every day. That's the 
that's the thing about it. That's the gift and the curse about it. Nobody's gonna make you activate your chakras every day. Absolutely. And, and it don't cost nothing, so there's no and excuse. It don't cost <laughs> so this is the proof that the best things in life are free. Absolutely. Is the best thing in life. Yes, it is. The greatest thing in life that you have control, absolute control of your life, through absolute control of your chakras. Yes. AKA you. You control you again. The spirit is now in control again. Yes. And so I had to put the, and we're doing a TEDx talk on it this year and showing everybody awesome. how did I beat, how did I beat alcoholism? How did I beat drug addiction? How did I beat prison recidivism? How did I beat um, poverty? How did mm. I beat negative eating and wrong eating and dead meat eating, right? How did I beat negative taking? How did I beat going wrong, attracting the wrong friends, attracting the wrong mates? How did I beat um, uncurable diseases? How did I beat, how did I beat all of these things? Because by law, if all of the, how did I beat child abuse? How did I beat death? Yeah. And the anguish of death. How did I beat all of that when everybody's killing themselves over this? Yeah. Everybody uh, literally going to jail or dying in their graves or becoming bitter old and going, and going into the graveyard bitter old never accomplishing what they needed to in life. How did I beat all of these things because the numbers said I wasn't supposed to beat it. Here we go. Full of chakra activation is how I beat all of those things. And not only beat them, but my business partner is a self-made millionaire. My school is owned by a billionaire philanthropist. Hey, I'm on my way to showing the world that you can attract abundance way before the abundance touch your bank account. Absolutely. You can get around millions and billions way before the millions and billions touch your bank account because the millions and billions haven't touched my bank account yet. But I'm around it. I see the goal, and the goal is to heal people. And you're and also so, magnetized as well. Um, if you could briefly talk about the magnetism that is created when you have full chakra activation. So, so the full chakra activation, the, the, the full chakra activation kicks in a process of what I like to call the law, it's the hidden law. It's called, it is a hidden law. I know, I know all of you know about the law of attraction and the law of economics and all of these different laws. I know y'all know, but there's a hidden law called the law of acceleration. Mm-hmm. The, the hidden law, the cheat code law, is the law of acceleration, meaning well, the law of acceleration is the ability for you to accomplish in a short time what it takes people to accomplish, takes years to accomplish. And law, it takes a long time for people to accomplish this, but you accomplish this in a, a relatively super short time. Yes. For instance, full chakra activation, if you're trying to manifest, you're trying to manifest the proper trying to manifest the proper spouse, you're trying to manifest the proper healing, it'll, it'll take people years of trying and error relationships to get there, right? Full chakra activation guarantees you a year or less you're going to find that if you use it the proper way. Right. Full chakra activation, it takes, it, takes, it, it takes years for people to master eating. Full chakra activation, make sure you make sure you get that diet in check in a year or less. Absolutely. It takes, it takes years for people to master spirituality. And what the spirit world really is. Full chakra activation is going to make sure 365 days or less you're going to master the spirit world. Everything that kicks into the law of acceleration to that way, there is nothing that you truly, truly, truly want to accomplish that a year won't show a great advancement in that thing that you want to accomplish or the actual accomplishment of the thing you want to accomplish. Because some people say, oh, well, full chakra activation can't give me a million dollars. Shit, I guarantee you, you do full chakra activation for a year straight um, and keep and, and keep going I guarantee you you're going to be way closer to that million dollars than you ever were absolutely in your entire life and they um, got to put in the work also you know correct but what full chakra activation is the thing that's going to motivate you to put in the work right full chakra activation is the energy that's going to push you to break the barrier full chakra activation is the actual exercise that is going to make you wake up on the right side of the bed make you think the positive things that you need to think for yourself make you act on you make you act in the greatest potential and highest aspect of your greatest self-benefiting growth yes. um mean, meaning you're going to want the best for yourself you're going to strive to do the best for yourself with full chakra activation because yes. the chakras the spirit is the best of you and you can't have the best of you awaken without the best of you wanting the best for you 
Absolutely. Period. Yeah. So the full chakra activation is waking up the best in you, and that best in you is going to manifest the best for you, hands down. Yeah. Period. And I put that, I put my head on the chopping block, chakradoctor.org. Just go there, try it one time. It's a guided meditation, which means all you got to do is get in a quiet space, put your earbuds in your ear, close your eyes, listen to the sound of my voice in the guided meditation, and you're going to physically feel all of these things I'm talking about. And what do I mean physically feel? You're going to get the sensation of goosebumps. You're going to get, you're going to get the sensation of warmth, tingling. People report a cool and clean feeling like they were in a hot shower and stepped into a cool breeze. You're going to get the re- feeling of stress re- stress relief. You're going to yawn. A lot of people report yawning yeah. like their body is just relieved. Oh, stress, mm-hmm. right? You're going to get the report. People report a lot of, uh, a light feeling like they feel lighter on their feet, light as a feather, and they feel like the, they can see the world. The world looks brighter. You're going to get a report of euphoria. Uh, this euphoria, natural high, and everything is just good, right? Even yeah. the bad, they're able to see the good inside of the bad. Yeah. While they're going through their trial and tribulation. Also um, improve uh, re- uh, conscious reaction time and brain function oh, yeah. also. It's going to improve your reaction. It's gonna, it's, 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 you're no longer going to be a reactive factor to the game of life. You're going to be an observatory factor to the game of life and that observation is going to spawn the highest action from yourself absolutely right so you're no longer being you're no longer in reaction mode when full chakra activation kicks in you're in observance mode at all times while you're in full chakra activation and through every observance you're going to make the proper highest potential action to benefit your life whether it's emotionally whether it's spiritually whether it's physically or whether it's mentally your going full chakra activation is going to make sure you pick the highest term for yourself and that's what's so great about it and people report uh, and it's, it's, I'm talking about the healing joints uh, bro, bro, uh, if anything is broken on you don't talk about the repairing of emotions all the past traumas and all of the past pains all of those rapes that my black women done went through all of those metamolestations and all of these things can yeah. heal right um, mm-hmm. and all of these things you're going to want to heal them. They're going to feel good about healing them. It's not going to be like, oh, I'm afraid. Fear leaves when full chakra activation kicks in. Absolutely. Your, 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 your concept of fear literally leaves, and the concept of love, of unconditional love, completely washes over you. So a lot of people report crying and tears and getting emotional. Right. Um, but you're going to guaranteedly, physically feel something. And those somethings are going to be warmth, tingling, euphoria, goosebumps, electricity, magnetism. Um, you're going to feel like you're floating. It's, going to, it's just an immense feeling. It's a, 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 a I actually, natural high um, that you can't, a natural high that you can't escape and a natural high that you can't deny. You can't deny this natural high that you feel with full chakra activation. Right. So that's yes. Full chakra activation is the actual exercise that spawned the chakra doctor because before there ever was a chakra doctor there was just Rance Dunbar practicing full chakra activation on people absolutely I was one of them (laughs) yeah absolutely full chakra activation is the exercise that spawned the character superhero character you see as chakra doctor but before there ever was a chakra doctor there was Rance Dunbar activating his chakras didn't know where this was going to lead him, but he know he just had to feel like this for the rest of his life, and he did everything in his power. And I took, I treated it like a dope, I treated it like a dope habit. Like a crackhead wants a hit of crack every five minutes. I wanted full chakra activation 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's we right. never closed. I always wanted it. I always, and it always brought me to a world that you can't, you can't deny the world inside of yourself. Right. Absolutely. I was able to reconnect with myself on the inside in a way that nobody else is, uh, is able to connect unless you're connecting to the most valuable part of yourself called chakras. Yeah, and okay. that's what so many of us need is to get back in tune with ourselves. And that is the perfect, complete method to begin with, you know. And to intentionally practice it daily. You definitely have to do it daily. Yes, yes. Your one, two, threes, you didn't learn it in one day. You didn't learn how to drive a car in one day. You didn't learn how to ride a bike in one day. You had you, you had pro- 
processes. You did not grow your personality in a day. Absolutely. Your personality grew. Your personality grew over time and years, and it's still growing right now because different things are going to happen to you in life to shape the personality, right? So full chakra activation is number one. I gotta let everybody know that they gotta do it every day. Well, how many times a day? As many times as it, as many times as your time can afford. Absolutely. If you can do it, if you can do it eight times a day, an hour each time. Guess what? Do it. If you can do it five times a day, an hour each time. Do it. If you can do it three times a day, do what. Take it to take it high as you can take it. Then yes. watch the manifestation of the law of acceleration. So the law of acceleration it kicks in at a high rate when full chakra activation. Your synchronicities, your coincidences, your um your your communications with the spirit world, um be it be it the deceased or be it the angels, be it the demons, yes. dragons, jinn, whatever. Your every aspect of your spirit world kicks into yes. overdrive and that's begin you begin to start seeing it at a rapid pace in your physical world. And the so magical that, yeah. power increase also because it's like you know, oh you, you yes, have to yes. have your yes. energy together yes. in order for that to work. You know what I mean? Yes, you're, 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 you remember this. It's like, it's like everything kicks into overdrive and corrects itself once full chakra activation is employed upon the body and mind and spirit every day religiously like a person brush their teeth religiously like a person puts on their clothes religiously. Mm -hmm. You do full chakra activation religiously it's going to take you higher, way higher than any religion yeah. can ever take. <clears throat> Absolutely. And it's worth getting up an extra hour, hour and a half in the morning to get yourself. that done. Absolutely. You're, you're doing that to yourself. It's worth getting up in the morning and closing your own eyes, going inside of your own mind, and having a relationship with you in the form of communicating and tuning and activating your chakras with act, full chakra activation and chakra charging which is we use the affirmations to power and charge yeah. the chakras and it actually so, creates your day you know you it can creates your day, absolutely man. absolutely yes absolutely yeah. so and I just want to thank you I just want to thank you for giving this a, I don't care if one person or no person's here the universe here absolutely and, and I thank you for even giving this time and attention to be broadcasted on any medium. And yes. I respect the fact I respect the fact that, hey, you get it, right? Yes. So a lot of people don't get it because, just because they don't know it. So it's platforms like this that starts people to get it to know what it actually is. Absolutely. And once people repetitively hear this over and over, they're gonna say, Okay, let me find out about it. Let me delve off into it. Let me do my homework. And while I, next thing you know, they're activating your chakras, their, their chakras. While I, next thing you know, they're reading books again. Next thing you know, they're eating healthy again. And it's just little things like this. Well, yes. if one person got it, then that's all that was needed. Absolutely. And that's how we get this done. Like, I appreciate you thanking me, but I would like to say that it is just the result of doing the work, you know, the affirmations, the chakra balancing, and just all of the spiritual work. Like you make good decisions, you know, you, you don't hate on nobody, you're not backbiting, you like that stuff doesn't even like come into your mind because you're too busy focused on, you know, improving your quality exactly. of life. You, just, you know you just said it. You just said it. Absolutely. You don't even, it, it doesn't have room to come into your mind because your mind is busy doing something else. That's the way the mind works. Yes. If you let your mind just sit, then guess what's going to bombard your mind? Those fears, doubts, angers, bitterness, yes. greed, hatred, jealousy, superstition, all of the crazy stuff. Yes. But once you train your mind to start doing something positive, if, you're, if I'm writing, if I'm writing, I will always, I will always see abundance in my life. Uh, Two hundred times. I guarantee you while I'm writing it, I'm saying it in my brain. Yes, absolutely. And I guarantee you, and I guarantee you, while I'm saying it in my brain, I'm envisioning it. Like, man, let me, because you can't write that and not and, and not eventually start seeing that form in your yes. mind. Like, you're writing, I see abundance in life, and your mind first might start saying, man, you crazy. Your yes. ego might start saying, man, you sound crazy. Before the, before you make it to 200, your ass is seeing 
in serenity and abundance. You Absolutely, know? and you and you don't even see it coming. It's just there. Like that song on the radio that you can't stand, but and that song on the radio that you can't stand, but you know it by heart. Exactly, because right. <laughs> you've heard it a zillion times. Exactly. Heard it a zillion times. It's yes. Yeah. Right now, information is over and over. It's like bombarding your mind with that song on the radio that you can't stand, but you just know it because you heard it so many times. Absolutely. Well, I totally appreciate. Um, you. you accepting my my um, invitation to come on the show. Absolutely, because you definitely left some segues open. Energy is everything, and the mind is all. So we're we're gonna come back on that uh, whenever you get a chance, and um, oh, yeah, we'll man, apply you know, that to the chakra kind of system. We can, get, we can get it in whenever you want to get it in. Yes, indeed. We can. Absolutely, and we have the chakra doctor, Rance Dunbar. And um, you, would you like to say how people can purchase your affirmation Bible? Okay, yeah, so on Facebook, you can reach me on Facebook, Rance Dunbar, R-A-N-C-E-D-U-N-B-A-R. I have a website, chakradoctor.org, chakra doctor. Org, and you can click the tab that says Affirmation Bible. That will send that will send you to the PayPal link. Um, my Instagram is at Chakra Doctor Five Zero Four. At Chakra Doctor Five Zero Four, all one word, no underscore. My, um, you can hit me up in the email, Hip Hop Jesus Number Two at Gmail dot com. H I P H O P J E S U S the number two at gmail dot com and you can always just call me straight at eight one eight four two nine one six seven five eight one eight four two nine one six seven five and just say hey I want my affirmation Bible each affirmation Bible comes with its own mail tracking so that you can receive it in the most uh, in, in first class and expedient time and if there are any other mediums I forgot those are the main mediums right there. And if you see me on the streets, you know, hey, but all of those means that there's a call in my number, uh, 818-429-1675, and hit me up on Facebook, and catch me on the ChakraDoctor.org. You can catch it anywhere on any one of those meetings. And also on ChakraDoctor.org, go and get and go and listen to and activate your chakras out that free tutorial. That Absolutely. That free guided meditation. So everything right there in one place, one-stop shop. Perfect. I want to thank you again, and we will get in contact with each other very soon. Um, I'm going to shoot you over this link so that you would have it to circulate also. And we will I will be in touch for the next episode. Once again, this is Rance Dunbar, the Chakra Doctor, the creator of the Affirmation Bible. And I'm your host, Sirket Amin-Ra, at the House of Sirket Radio Show. Until the next time. Peace and love. Infinite love, eternal truth. Peace. Peace out, family. Boom.